Hubby and I have been master scuba divers since 1997. And so we have been around the block in time and diving experience and in liveaboards. And let me be clear, diving on the scuba ying in the Maldives was a once in a lifetime, life changing kind of trip. I had never done one like it. And I don't know if I ever will. It was such an amazing experience with the mantas and the sharks. Oh my word. I highly recommend it. So what I've done in this video series is I've put together a complete view of doing the scuba spa scuba ying. So you'll know exactly what to get and why you need to go book it. In this video, you're going to combine three videos. The one where I tour you on the ship, the one where I show you all about the diving on the Donnie and how amazing the diving staff is. And then also I'm going to walk you through the dolphin suite. So make sure you get your popcorn, you get comfortable so you can completely embrace and enjoy this experience. You're going to love it. The floating resorts by Scuba Spa are, in my opinion, based on my 24 years of experience with liverboards, the best built and staffed dive ships I've ever been on. The fleet in the Maldives consists of two ships, the Scuba Yang and the Scuba Ying. These ships are basically identical. The boats have four floors, and I'm going to tour you through three of the floors on the scuba ying. The main deck is the heart of the boat. At the back is the bar, coffee bar, and a great shaded area to hang out in in between dives. The open air dining room is where guests gather for amazing meals, served buffet style. The dive staff also does all the pre-dive briefings here. Finally, guests gather and watch each other's dive videos on the big screen. The Scuba Ying has a well-stocked wine fridge for you to enjoy. The Scuba Ying is a very environmentally conscious ship. On the main hall are taps to fill the water bottles each guest is given. Past the gorgeous stairway is the hall of guest rooms. The lower floor has the same look and number of guest rooms as the main floor. Now let's explore the upper deck which consists of the sun deck, spa, and bridge.
The star deck consists of the sun lounge area and the Kowar Jacuzzi Pool. It's a great place to come at night and watch the stars. geological design of the Maldives makes it perfect for amazing diving. The Maldives are basically hundreds of a couple acre sandbars clumped together in groups called atolls. These atolls are sitting in hundreds of feet of water being swirled continuously by currents. The combination of the sheer number of islands covered in coral and the water depth makes the Maldives a perfect place for the impressive marine animals to stop by for a snack or a cleaning while circumventing the globe. The design of the Maldives allows dive operators to plan day in and day out once a lifetime dives and be able to deliver on their promises. So potentially any live aboard in the Maldives could provide its guests with a great diving experience. That brings me to the second reason you should book with Scuba Spa, the Dawny. Hubby and I have been master scuba divers since 1997. We have dove around the world in all different types of environments. I have never been on a better design boat. The Dawny has both an air compressor and a nitrox compressor on board. Both have very long hoses which allow the tanks to be filled in the slots where you took off your gear. Thus, there's none of this annoyance to have to swap tanks and reposition your BCD after each dive. Next, every person has their assigned spot on the boat with their own large gear bin. For people like us who own all our own gear, it was a comfort to know that each dive our fins, flashlight, computer, etc. were right where we left them at the end of the last dive. The dive boat can hold over 30 divers. With a separated wide bitch design, a maximum of six divers are grouped together by space and by levels. Thus, you never feel like you're diving with the herd. For getting in the water, there are wide openings on both sides of the boat for giant strides and a large ladder with the sturdy drift line to get you out. Finally, after the dive, you can go up top and lounge the cushions for a leisure ride back to the main boat. My third reason and most important reason why I wholeheartedly recommend diving with Scuba Spa is the staff. They're what truly make this live aboard the best I've ever dove with. Any company can build a great boat like the Dawny and put it in an amazing location like the Maldives. Scuba Spa has put the icing on the cake. They have found the perfect combination of dive masters, boat hands, and captains to put your dive trip over the top. The guys and lady are professional and fun. They make the greenest diver feel capable, but they don't dumb down the dives for the ones of us that have been diving for longer than many of these dive masters have been alive. They're right there to solve a crisis like fix a broken fin and give you a high five when you experience an awesome manta dive. The staff provide just enough attention to each diver that you're made to feel special such as the way they notice if a diver struggles with the ladder taking their fins off. Instead of making that diver feel awkward, they just take the fins off of them when they're next on the drift line. Finally, after the last dive, they wash and dry your gear for you so you don't have to go home with stinky, wet gear. The staff on the Scuba Ying are the best that I've ever had the opportunity to dive with. In, it's all really pretty wood that you see and the walls look like concrete they are 
just a neat neat texture but look at that view we have that view for the next eight days okay let me start you off in the cloth coat hangers and then you've got two kimonos that you can use for walking around and going to the scuba spa there is air conditioning in this room so it is nice and cool which is nice they provide two life jackets some storage space for you put your things and finally there is a safe one thing to note is this is a shoe free boat because of the gorgeous wooden floors that are throughout this boat the whole boat you're not allowed to wear shoes when you walk around okay then after the closet you have a nice little desk area with a stool there's the remote control for the air conditioning remember on this one it is a 220 boat and it is the British style. They do provide one adapter, but if you're like us that have multi items, you're gonna need to bring another one. One of the things they're doing now for COVID, which I think is nice, is as soon as you get on the boat, they're asking you to change your clothes and put them in this little laundry bag and hang it on your door. They will wash for free the clothes you came in. So think ahead. If you wanna make sure you get to wear certain clothes twice, then wear those onto the boat in this room because it's really spacious for a boat room you have a chair where you can sit and just talk and chat and you know things like that and then i have to show you this it's our anniversary and so they made our bed all pretty isn't this just touching we i made a comment in the emails i was exchanged and that was going to be our anniversary and this is what they did for us the staff is already impressing us next to the bed is a little area on one side so you've got some area to put the nightly things you usually put like CPAPs and things both people have a book light that's built in over here on this side is another area for while you're in bed but they also provide two water bottles they will provide glass water bottles for in the room and the people that clean the room will fill these up for you daily the room is cleaned once to two times a day so they will fill this you're also going to be given an aluminum water bottle to use all over the rest of the boat finally storage this opens up and you have a storage space down here plus all underneath the bed is areas where you can store your suitcases to get them out of the way the bathroom is a lot bigger in the dolphin room than i expected on a normal boat to be exactly honest so you have your toilet and it is like an airplane toilet in that it goes and makes that big sound plus it only in the system can handle to have toilet paper nothing else and as little as possible then you have your really pretty shower look at the tile work behind there it is just adorable they have the drying line so if you want to wash some clothes with your scuba do scuba washing bag you have a line you can draw them the shower head is a uh, one that comes down so you can use it you know for your legs and things one thing to note is they provide shampoo and body gel they do not provide conditioner if you're a conditioner person like i am you got to bring your own next is you've got two mirrors that you um, can use with great makeup lights included they have a sink and then finally they have towels which are just really cute with the scuba yang logo on them one thing to also note no hair dryer if you want a hair dryer you got to bring your own and i'll put a link below to the one that i use also if you're finding these videos informative feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you can hear even more about our maldives adventure i have to tell you i am very impressed with the view but i'm also really impressed with how big the dolphin suite is and how comfortable we're going to be i am excited to be here well, if you've enjoyed this video about diving on the scuba ying, make sure you check out these other two videos so that you'll know about how to arrive in the Maldives and where we stayed while we were there. I know you're going to enjoy the rest of our experience.